Hi everybody and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. I create all kinds of things. This month we are on our month of gnomes and I'm squeezing in one last one for the month. So this one is number 14 and I am so glad we squeezed her in because she is just so precious. This is our little witch on a broom gnome. She is so cute. She hangs right on the wall. It's so sweet. I'm going to show you guys right now how you can make your own little witch on a broom gnome. We're going to start with our fabric. We've got some minky fabrics here and I've got a wooden dowel. I've got a pool noodle four inches long. I've got two green foam gardening wires. I've got some ribbon, some jute rope and some polymer clay. We're going to start with our polymer clay and for this we're going to need a cardboard aluminum tube that I'm going to cut one inch long two pieces one inches long here and then we're going to take our polymer clay and we're going to cover these little tubes just smoothing it out you don't need it real thick on there and just kind of wrap it around the edges and then we're going to take another piece and make like an oval kind of shape and then form that right to the front of our we're, these are going to be our booties. We're just going to smooth that right in there so you can't see the seam. And start forming your booty toe there. I'm just, again, smoothing the seams. And then we're just going to curl up our toe. And then for the heel, I just kind of made like a little square chunk that we're just putting right on the bottom of our boot. And again, we're going to just kind of smooth it out a bit. Smoothing out everything. And then I kind of made a tongue kind of piece at the top to kind of stick out. And then we're just going to carve with our, a tool. Any tool will work. And just make some lines just to sh show that that's the different portion of the boot and the tongue is there. And then we're going to take a really thin piece that we've rolled out and just crisscross it back and forth. And we're going to make some laces on our boots. Fold down the tongue a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other booty. Just smoothing out our edges again. And I should point out we're not worrying about the color of the clay right now because we're going to paint it afterwards with some acrylic paint anyway. And then we're just going to crisscross our laces. Make sure they go all the way up. And if you have any extra, just kind of cut that off. And now we're going to start on our hands. I'm going to go through this really fast because you guys have seen me do this lots. If you haven't seen it, if you're new, I will leave a link in the description on the ha video that's for hands. For these ones, I'm going to, the only thing different, I'm going to make them a little pointier on the end. Right where we're going to carve our nails here. We're going to make them curved so that they fit around our wooden dowel. Just rolling up those fingers. Make the little details. And don't forget to poke your hole in the bottom to put them in our, hand, our arms later. And next I am just going to start wrapping our pool noodles. So this is a, one of the smaller around pool noodles from Dollarama. I cut it at four inches long. And I'm just rolling it up in some black minky fabric here. Just a little hot glue right on the fabric, not on the noodle too much because it will melt that noodle. And then just trim off your excess. And now I'm going to take one of those foam wires. These are just from the gardening section at Dollarama. And I'm just going to cut it directly in half. And I'm going to remove just a little bit on each end to expose the wires in the middle. And then I'm going to measure out some fabric and we're going to roll those arms up in our black minky fabric. Just some hot glue on the end and roll it up. And next I'm going to measure out about one inch down from the top where we're going to poke our arms in. And then we just put some hot glue on the end and poke that wire right into our pool noodle. And then I just made some trim. 
So for that, I just took a long strip of this bright orange minky. I just love this stuff. It is so pretty. And then I just hot glued one side down and then the other. So they matched up in the middle. And now I am taking a big rectangle piece. This is going to be for her skirt. For this, I cut it at 12 inches long. I would suggest doing a little longer because I did have to add a piece at the end. It wasn't quite long enough. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going to hot glue it and then pleat it and gather it all the way around as I attach it with the hot glue. This is where I'm just adding a little extra material because I ran out. So you can see again just hot gluing and pleating and tacking it down as I go so it's nice and full. And then we're just going to hot glue it together. If you turn it the other way around, go from the underneath, it's a little bit easier to do. And now to hem it, I'm actually going to fold it almost in half to hem it. We're going to make a really wide hem. We're just going to bring it right down like that. This kind of gives us that kind of bubble balloon kind of skirt that we're looking for. And just make sure it's all gathered and stuck in there. Smoothing it out. For the legs, we are taking some. These are the larger hair foam rollers that you can get. And I am now just straightening out the wire, removing about one inch of the foam off. We're keeping the wire in there though. We're just gonna again straighten that wire out. And now we're gonna roll up our legs. So I just measured out how much we need for the width and then we just hot glue it and start rolling. A glue strip right along the end there to seal it up. And then we just trim right along the edge and we've got our pant leg or stockings in this case I guess it would be <laughs> so we'll just do that again for the other leg and roll it up and now I'm just trying to figure out where I want those legs for her to sit on her broom so I did poke a hole in there with a tool just to go through the fabric as well same thing on this side just kind of make your hole and then you can poke your wire in there adding some hot glue and then just press firmly I did add quite a bit of glue because her little clay booties are going to be kind of heavy and weigh it down a bit. So we want to make sure they're really attached. And now for the skirt, I am adding this black sparkly wire ribbon. And I'm just going to do it the same way we attach the skirt. And we're going to hot glue it and gather it together, making some pleats along the way. It's a little trickier with the ribbon. I do suggest using finger protectors. We are now going to add a belt. We're just going to wrap that same black wire ribbon around her waist just to hide where her skirt meets her top there. And then we're going to start making her hat. So for this I just made sure we had a big enough piece to go around the top of her head and I folded it in half and now I'm cutting a triangle shape. Hot gluing down the one side, folding it together to form our hat. And then we're going to turn that right side out. I'm stuffing it with a little polyfill. I did realize I forgot to trim off that little tail at the back, so I just trim that off so it's straight. A little more polyfill. For the brim, I just traced this circle out and I made three circles. Two in the black minky fur, one in a craft foam. Now the two black minky ones, I am just attaching good side to good side. Gluing it almost all the way around, not quite so we can turn it right side out again. And now I'm going to take that foam circle and just stuff it inside the black minky circles. And then we're going to seal it up by gluing up our edges here and just pressing them firmly together. And then we're going to take that trim that we had made earlier and we're going to wrap that all the way around the brim of our hat. And then just cut off the excess, a little more hot glue to seal it off. And then to start our circle in the middle, I just used a knife to cut a little starting point. And then with my scissors, cut four little pie shapes all the way around. And then I'm going to fold back those little pie shapes and glue them to the bottom part of the hat there. And then just slide that brim when we're done right over our cone that we made. And we're going to hot glue that at about half an inch down from the bottom of our cone. And just slide it back down on the glue. Pressing it on there firmly. And then I was just trying to decide what kind of hair should she have. 
I ended up going with this gray Mongolian fur. I really like this one. It looked nice and long and stringy kind of to me. It was perfect for our witch. So I did just hot glue down the edges and fold them down. And now I'm gluing down a strip all the way around her. You can make it whatever length you want. Mine is about three inches long. And then I started painting up our booties. So I took some black acrylic paint and just painted those all over. And then I also painted up the hands while I was there. And I took some brown paint and painted our wooden dowel as well. And then I took some black color shift paint and I went over our booties again. And then for the nose, this is a polymer clay nose I made previously. Put a little E6000 in the middle and some hot glue around the outside and press that onto her. And now I'm just going to make a pretty little bow to put on the top of her hat. Just wrap it around there and slide it right off. And we're going to hot glue that just to the top there. And then I put that same black sparkly ribbon just around the brim of the hat there as well and just hot glued that all the way around. For the booties I put some hot glue right inside there, lots of it, and then we just pressed that right onto her leg. It bunched up her stockings there a little bit but that's okay, that looks good anyway. And then I also went in with some E6000 and added that a little bit too, just to make sure they're really stuck on there. The clay is pretty heavy. So I also put some E6000 on the wires and then poked that right into her hand for her arms and hands there. And then wrapped that same trim around there with some hot glue. That just helps hold the hands on there a little bit extra. And then we took our wooden dowel and I took this jute rope. And I cut a whole bunch of strands at about 13 inches long. About 12 I, strands I cut, I think. I don't even know for sure, to tell you the truth. And then I just start adding some hot glue at about one inch up. Folded these in half and just attached them right where I folded them. And I did that all the way around the dowel. And once it was all the way around and full, I started to unravel this jute rope. This does take some time. It's not hard, but it is definitely time consuming. And I went all the way around and I just kept unraveling. And then I decided it wasn't quite full enough, so I turned it upside down and added another row just underneath that. And then I unraveled all of those. And then I added some ribbons to the top here, just pushed those all down there. Adding that black wire again to the bottom part, that way we can kind of stick up our broom a little bit. Adding this minky a strip around the dowel. This will help glue our girl onto it. And we're going to just glue her right on to the top there. I also took another strip of minky and just a small strip and added it over top of the dowel now just to really make sure she's stuck on there. And then some E6000 on her hands just to attach them to the dowel as well. I have one going one way and then I twisted the other one to go the other way. Don't know why, just a little make it a little more interesting. <laughs> and then I took this picture hanging kit and I took one of those little pieces, I don't know what you call it, but this piece here that you can see, and I just hot glued and E6000 that to the back of the brim of her hat. And then she hangs so nicely on our wall. She looks so sweet. Well, there she is, our little sweeties all done. You can pose her in any way you like. I love how she turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you thought of our month of gnomes. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. And make sure to check back soon for more creations. Probably won't be a gnome next week. We'll see though. So make sure and check back. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support. Until next time, love to all.